Hey guys, the Defy here, in Napoleon Battle number 8. I command the Prussians, and my ally, Random Hero, commands the French. And we are reversing the Bear Hug Clan, Nikki81, and Glock. So, that's odd names. But anyway, uh, I won't be showing the armies in the battle right now, but I will be uh, telling you them. My army is one general staff, two howitzers, two Sicilian shootsmen, two Prussian fusiliers, seven musketeers, one eighth life regiment, three lancers, and one Brandenburg Johan. And due to time constraints, uh, you can check out the armies below in the, what do you call it, info section there. But anyway, as you can see there, my opponent is ganging on his uh, Prussian enemy, and uh, these guys decided to bring six units of howitzers all together, so I'm going to cl classify this as an RDL Arty spam and elite spam since my opponent here brought tons of uh, foot guards, highland guard, and kingsman foot. And we're gonna have to do a few time transitions due to this battle being so long. But anyway, you can see my uh, opponent here. He's encircling my uh, my second enemy, the Prussian guy. And he's gonna come from all sides his front, his uh, right side, well, his left technically and the back of him with his cavalry. So this should be a really interesting battle. But anyway, these guys made the mistake of camping at the bottom of a hill. I'm pretty sure in my, one of my early videos that I got rid of, uh, I talked about this, but you never, I mean, just never ever want to camp at the bottom of a hill. Because, as you can see, I I just ran up and took the hill, and he's, he's uh, going to be doomed. But the only action you missed before this, as you can saw, I saw start the battle like five minutes in, was them firing howitzers as a, at us as we uh, ran up and down the hill. But anyways, they're going to camp down there, and we're going to press attack. The main strategy in this battle is for me to take all the howitzer fire, and for my opponent to come around and flank the enemy. Which is, uh, it's going to work very well indeed. And one other thing uh, about this right now is Great Britain doesn't have any cavalry, so I have that advantage, and I will use it why, as well as I can. But as you can see, I'm coming at my opponent's left flank, oh well, my, my opponent's right, right flank, my left, and I will be uh, pressing attack, but right now I am using Prussian Fusiliers and uh, two Sicilian Shootsmen to fire down at the hill. I honestly think Prussian Fusiliers are very good, and I use them, I've been using them all the time lately. And right now my howitzers are moving up, and in the back, if you can see in the minimap. But they're going to do some damage, not compared to these six howitzers who are, are blasting my guys away. But that's what's supposed to happen, so if I don't do well too well this match, it's not because I didn't try, it's just because my, uh, my plan was to take all the fire. And as you can see, his rifles just crisp me to dust, well, basically kill my men. Just a little analogy there. As you can see, he's uh, pounding me with some grape shots there, or canisters, he likes to call it. But that is not going to stop my uh, ally, Random Hero, men from pressing the attack. And we are both representing the A and B clan, but I, I, I don't really care about that clan stuff. Nothing really big. And as you can see, he's shooting into that hill right there, and he's not going to take the advantage of moving up. So I'm just going to sit here up on this hill and shoot down for a while and uh, hopefully hold him off long enough or even destroy him and uh, use my coward to my advantage even though he has tons of elite guards as you can see these uh, cavalry have been running a long time and they're pretty tired but we're gonna watch this uh, lots of gunfire and stuff so let's see
as you saw there, just lots of gunfighting, me pressing my opponent on his right flank. That objective was to use my cavalry to sort of disorganize his men, then rush my line of infantry forward to kill him, which in a way did work. As you see, my houses are moved up, and we're getting in position. Anyway, he's he's using his uh, outnumbered elite forces on my uh, left flank to flank me. <laughs> there, so he's going to do significant damage to my uh, left flank as we speak. But me sitting on this hill is bringing him to a uh, lot more casualties than. Uh, He's bringing it to me, and he's keeping basically half his army, four of his rif rifles, just sitting back there. And right now, I have uh, three uh, three infantry units that uh, haven't really been uh, in action yet. And we had to fast forward this for the sake of time, and three of my transitions. Well, at least you can see what happens here instead of skipping part of it. But it's basically me just sitting on the hill. I can, it's not a hill camp since I had to run all the way across the map, but Our men are running, sir. well, think what you want. But anyway, as you can see, two of my other units on there got a melee clash, and I won. And my opponent is now pressing the attack even further, and he's winning significantly. And he's brought his howitzers up for heavy support. Me keeping his howitzer occupied, his army will be a lot less damaged. And he'll have more, more, more of his army to flank my enemies over here. While me dealing with all the howitzer fire and Burns elite troops is taking a lot of damage. So, but it all works out in the end, as you will see. And his rifles are not firing. Well, they are actually. But as you can see, I'm having two of my unused live units come out to support my left flank due to uh, all his men on my left flank. As you can see, uh, Prussian howitzers haven't been damaged at all, or the Burnham howitzers have been really taking lots of hits. Let's just say it, put it in that. And now we're gonna press forward right now. It's always good to press attack, never pull back an attack. If you pull back an attack, the enemy will have time to regroup, and uh, hopefully they, uh, well, the enemy is hoping that you do that. That's sort of obvious, but... Anyway, yeah, just always press the attack. Never let your opponent regroup and always make them have poor micromanagement. But as you can see, my uh, ally here, Random Hero, has used his cavalry advantage against the Prussians and is now going to advance to my enemy's uh, right flank. And let's go over the main strategy in this battle. First, we saw that our opponents had uh, tons of artillery and lots of elite troops, So, and they were camping at the bottom of the hill, so we decided to charge them. And the strategy was for me to take all the howards to fire and have uh, my ally, random hero, come around and flank the enemy. This worked significantly. Second, we used our cavalry to our advantage since they only brought one cavalry unit. And third, mostly, overall, they just camped at the bottom of the hill. And who does that? Apparently these guys. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this, enjoyed this battle. And I hope these uh, strategies might help you later. And I hope you guys like this uh, dual channel of uh, me and Cadence. And uh, I'll, I'll be posting all my videos up, up on here now. So uh, glad you guys decided to watch. And uh, I'll see you guys later.